Hello everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I have a haul for you. It's a, it's, a, it's a great haul. I'm gonna try my best not to say amazing, but it is a great haul. Um, so let's see, how do I start? So some of the items that I got, I got from a consignment shop down in Deal, Maryland. I haven't been there in a good little while and I'm so glad I went. I had a half a day on uh, Friday. And so I decided just to just to mosey on down there, you know, and see what they had. And, you know, the weather was great. It was it was 80 and no humidity here in Maryland. So I decided to go take a ride. And I'm so glad I did. They had a bunch of items that were on sale. I think it was probably because they were running some sales because of the Father's Day weekend. So I'm glad that I popped in and got a couple of items. Not a lot at the consignment shop. Um, but, uh, but I'm really happy with the items that I got. I can't wait to show you those items. And then... Later on in the evening, I was, uh, I don't know, I was doing a bunch of things. I was making my list in terms of the things I wanted to do this weekend. It's Father's Day weekend. I wanted to, you know, fix something special for my husband for Father's Day. And I was making out my uh, grocery list. I was just, you know, piddling, as my dad would say. Um, and uh, I got bored with myself. I said, well, Donna, it's still nice outside. Why don't you go to um, the thrift store? And I was like, okay. Now... I told you in previous videos that one of the thrift stores is in my area. I just stopped going because the uh, I had a really, really bad customer service experience, oh, about a month and a half ago, and I just decided that, that I wasn't going to go back. It was, it was, it was horrible. Um, and on top of the fact that the quality of the items that they have in this particular thrift store, it's just been going way, 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 way down. I mean, we all know that the prices in the thrift stores are uh, our what's the word I want to use? They are challenging for resellers. I'll, I'll be kind. Um, but, uh, but even that, I don't mind paying up if the quality of the items are there. Um, but yeah, the last, the last year, the quality of their items has, uh, has dramatically, um, uh, reduced. And so I don't go there often. I only go there on a whim and, um, and so I'm kind of glad I went on this whim because it was like around, I don't know, guys, it was probably like around 7 o'clock, 7.30, actually. And I know they close at 9. And I needed I needed to go out. Oh, I wanted to get some gas. That's right. I wanted to go get some gas. And so I figured while I was out getting gas, I can kind of, you know, again, mosey by there just to see what they had. I wasn't expecting anything because it was late in the evening. I knew it was an hour and a half before the store was going to close. I wasn't expecting a whole lot, right? But boy, was I surprised, right? I normally walk out there with maybe an item that I can carry in my hand or maybe in my in my satchel. Um, but this time I walked out with three bags full of stuff. I think I spent like, I don't know, I want to say I spent like 70 bucks. One of the items that I have, I'm pretty sure is going to absolutely take care of that 70 bucks. Um it's it's uh it just recently sold on uh, ebay for sixty dollars so and recently like in may all right so i'm gonna stop talking i'm uh three minutes in i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna start with the items that i found at the consignment shop first and uh and then i'll switch gears and i'll let you know the items that i got from the um from the thrift store so the first thing i wanted to show you guys is this awesome tommy bahama let me just show you that real quick tommy bahama tiki mug I have uh, a bunch of tiki mugs listed right now on um, uh, on my shop, and they are selling really well. They sell really, really well. And so what I did, I, I grouped them in colors. And so, um, so yeah, it's summertime. People are doing outdoor uh, patio type of dining entertainment, and these things they they kind of sort of people like them. So, you know, uh, it kind of reminds you of being in the tropics. And so this was no exception. This actually was on sale. I think it was 30% off four fifty. So, yeah, I got this for next to nothing. And I just love the color. And I think I can probably sell this one for about $18, I think. And the next one is another tiki mug. This one says Orchids of Hawaii. If you guys know, those are highly collectible. This is Orchids of Hawaii R number one. And this one is yellow and i love 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 that yellow color and this one sells for about the same about between 18 and 20 dollars so um and again this one's on sale too i want to say this was i'm pretty sure i paid less than four dollars for it so anyway that was a good deal on that particular tiki mug 
the next item, um, so I was at the counter, and this wasn't on sale, but I love the color. And um, I had put all my stuff up at the counter, and it was a lady standing next to me, and she's like, oh my God, I love that color. She said, those colors are hard to find. I'm like, I know. Look what this is. It is a vintage Fiesta wear. They call it a disc uh, pitcher. This thing is in excellent condition. I did pay up for it. I paid $17 for this. Um, this particular consignment shop, um, it's the type of deal where if, if items don't sell after uh, X amount of days, they mark the price down. So this was actually at 17 So guys, I will tell you that this particular color is very sought after. This beautiful turquoise color. This, this is in print. I think I actually sold this turquoise color before, or maybe it was cobalt blue. I don't remember. But anyway, this one, this particular turquoise color sold on eBay for about $49. So, yes, please. Absolutely, yes, please. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the next item I'm going to show you, I saw it in the jewelry counter, and I liked the way it looked. I just kind of sort of loved it. And um, she at first told me, she thought it was uh, it was $29, and I wasn't going to pay $29 for it. But she said, wait a minute, I think this has been in the store. They couldn't find the tag, like the consignment tag that shows, because she said that it had been in the store for a very, very long time, and so it should be marked down. So they did some research in their computer, and I ended up paying $15 for this, which I totally love. It's by Bonetto, and th these do really well. They, they sell anywhere between $30, and $35, depending on the, the subject. So I think I'll do well with this. I just love this pen. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like a little little uh, a brooch watch. And they really do sell pretty good. So for $15, even though I did pay up for it, I'm pretty sure I can probably double, um, double that, if not a little bit more. Because people love brooches. They really do. Isn't that cool? It definitely makes a statement piece, huh? Totally love that. Let's see. Let's put that baby right there. All right, the next item. So, guys, you know that I love George the Antique Nomad. You know I love him. I love him. I love him. Love him. He's a, he's an ama he's an amazing person. I don't know him personally, but I watch all of his videos. I have him keyed up. I watch every single video he puts out. He is like a he's like a walking antique encyclopedia. Anyway, he always talk talks about not always, but he runs across Sasha Brastoff quite a bit. And he says that if you can get it for a good price, go ahead and pick it up. And so, luckily, I was able to find this Sasha Brasthoff piece. It's signed right there, Sasha B. Can you guys see that? Sasha B right there. It is this beautiful enameled uh, bowl or with a pedestal bowl. It is in excellent, excellent condition. And the good thing about this particular piece is that in that consignment shop, it was already marked down to its lowest price. And um, it was also it also had a blue tag, so I got like thirty percent off. I want to say I paid like maybe um, it ended up being about I want to say like eighteen dollars for this piece, right? So um, and when I did a Google lens on this particular uh, style Sasha B pedestal bowl, um, it was selling anywhere between forty and sixty dollars, depending on I think depending on the size. So, but yeah, I thought that was first of all it's stunningly beautiful. And turquoise is one of my favorite, favorite colors. And, uh, of course, I was going to pick it up. So, thank you, George the Antique Nomad, for enlightening me and uh, helping me to um, to learn about pieces that are uh, that are uh, highly sought after and also for, uh, for knowing this artist. So, what I'm going to do at some point when I have some downtime, I'm going to look up Sasha B., and see, you know, just get some history on Sasha B so I can learn a little bit more about Sasha Brastoff. B-R-A-S, Brastoff, I think it's B-R-A-S-T-O-F-F, -F, Sasha Brastoff. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, pick this up for a great price, and it's heavy too. All right, so the next item I got, um, these are Holt Howard. They're Holt Howard shakers. There's the label on the back. Here is the Holt Howard uh, stamp on the bottom. Now, I paid $24 for these. 
Um, and so normally, if you look these up on eBay, um, in great condition, I think they go anywhere between 50 and $80. I've seen them kind of sort of in that spread. Now, these are in overall good condition. I got to tell you, right, the pink one and the, and the blue one. But then it has this loose stuff on the bottom. I don't know what's going on with that. If they're shakers, I think the shakers are damaged, right? There's some rust. And I'm not sure if you can replace those or not. And maybe that's the reason why um, the vendor sold them for only $24. I'm not really sure. But, guys, what do you think? Do you think I should take those out, sell them as is? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But other other than these things, they are in great condition. No chips, no cracks, you know, that I could see. I thought I saw like a little small ding on one of the, I think it's like a little flea bite on the ear right there. But these are definitely Holt Howard shakers. I don't know. And it's almost like I can't even take take this out. I don't even know what to do. I don't know. What would you do? Would you take those out and sell them as is or uh, take them out and then sell them or take this rusty kind of sort of gross looking contraption out? I don't know. That's that. All right. So that's that. That was everything that I got from the consignment shop down in Maryland. Yep. That was everything. So, excuse me, guys. My sinuses are kicking in yet again. Um, so everything that I'm about, I'm about to show you right now, hold on one second, put those right there. All right. Everything I'm about to show you now, everything came from, came from the thrift store, right? Yeah. Everything came from the thrift store. Yep. Everything. All right. So the first item I'm going to show you is this, uh, it's called Mercury Innovations Crescent Moon Metallic led light decor i thought these were super cool they were only two dollars was it 199 199 i think and so yeah hello i think somebody might want to hang those on their patio for the summer were they 199 or 299 i don't remember now i'm sorry <laughs> i don't remember but anyway i just picked them up because i thought they were fun i don't think they've ever been used i did try i put some batteries in them and they do work so as you can see they're like string uh lights and they are called metallic LED light decor. They look really cute lit up, too. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this was pretty cool. So I don't mind box. Of course, it's been open. But I don't mind because I can probably flip this for about, I don't know, probably about $15, I would think. Maybe between $12 and $15. So we'll see. We'll definitely see how that goes. All right, the next item, I keep seeing these things all over the place. They were so inexpensive. I just decided to pick them up because of the subject. So this one says, they're like little, uh, I'm going to call them, sh not shelf sitters, but things you can put on your shelf or something like that. But anyway, this one says, love is wonderful when you, I'm sorry, love is wonderful when the someone I love is you. <laughs> so isn't she, a, what's going on with her eye? Her eye's jacked up. I don't know. Poor baby. Her eyes jacked up, but we love her anyway. A little tattered, but we got to love things that are, you know, slightly broken. And so this one says, each day my love for you grows stronger. I'll love you forever and even longer. So I figured I would sell these two together. You know, somebody's going to want them maybe for Valentine's Day. Both, uh, both of them say Paula 1979. This one says Paula 1979, made in the USA. And I believe this one says Paula 1980. So that's the back. And I just thought they were cute. I just picked them up. I think it was $249. So I just thought they were cute. Cute little subject, 1970s decor. All right, the next item, I picked these up because they do sell well. These are by uh, Paul Cardew. Let me just show you the bottom. Um, these are uh, the Alice in Wonderland mugs. Um, I've sold the mugs. I've sold the teapots. I've sold, um, well, I actually have some in my Etsy shop right now. I have a tray, and I think I have some cups, just some regular uh, Alice in Wonderland cups. So this one is pretty cool. I think this is a tall teacup. It comes with this lid, as you can see. Give me one moment. Right? And I think, you know, you put your little hot tea in it and then you use this as like a little coaster. So I thought this was cool. I don't remember how much I paid for this, guys. Probably about $2, I suppose. 
but I don't remember. It's in great condition. I don't think it's ever been used. No utensil marks on the inside. But uh, they are fi they the the collectible for the Paul Paul Cardew design and Alice in Wonderland is collectible. So if you do see that, pick it up and uh, and um, it should do well. So that's that. Another thing that I tip typically pick up are these. Um, they're called um, uh, Bella Casa uh, Susan Paley by Gans. I know you guys have seen these everywhere. Um, I usually pick up the tall ones. The tall ones usually do well for me, even the short ones, but the tall ones, for whatever reason, these do really, really well for me. And this one, I only pay $4.99 for it. And uh, this particular one, this one is called Sophie. Give me one moment. I'll show you. Sophie. Sophie recently sold on eBay for about 28 bucks. So yes, please. She's a little dusty. But I gotta clean her up a little bit. But these are so cute. So if you see this this particular design, it's by Gant, Susan Paley, P-A-L-E-Y, um, by Gantz, G-A-N-Z. And she's you can use her as a vase or just use her as like a you know decor. People collect them and they have like all different sizes and uh, um, sizes and widths. But they are they are collectible. People love this uh, love this style. All right, so that's that. The next item, I'm so glad that it worked because um, I loved it when I saw it. It was only two ninety nine. So it is a hula girl, and so this one is by. It says it's by. Give me one moment. Nineteen ninety three. Zhu Ling. Can you see that? I put some batteries in it, and I'm going to show you that this baby does work. I love, love, love. And if I remember correctly, when I did a Google lens on this baby, I want to say maybe $24. These things are collectible. She probably needs a little good hair brushing. But, uh, but she has a lay, and she has a lay around her head. Hold on a second. Give me one moment. enough of that but anyway she's 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 a wiggling and she's uh she's working and she's quite loud too i don't know she's her she's very strong her speakers are very strong but um but i was so glad to see excuse me one second i was so glad to see that she does work and uh, sometimes you just never know if it's going to work or if it's damaged or if the the battery has acid that's leaked out or whatever you just don't know but i just thought this was so pretty so kitschy Perfect for your tiki party, you know. So I got her for two ninety nine, of course. Yes, please. So that's that. The next item, I'm not sure exactly who the artist is. I believe that says MSP, and I believe that's dated zero zero, which is probably what two thousand. Um, I did find one. Isn't this first of all? Isn't it adorable? It's like a little small pottery. Uh, I'm just gonna call it like a little trinket dish. But isn't that adorable? absolutely adorable you know adorable is is good in some places this is good in, in this place that's adorable right and so um i did find i did find something well actually it wasn't even similar but it was bigger that's what it was it was bigger uh, it was a bigger bowl and the bowl i want to say was what it sold i want to say like back in april um for about 60 bucks this I think I pay like maybe two ninety nine for, but it's smaller. This is probably, if I had to guess, maybe about six inches diameter. But it's so very, very cute, guys. If you know this uh, artist or know this signature, will you let me know? I I could not find anything on it at all. I've tried. The one thing that I did find, um, in terms of the artist, I did find uh, this similar. Um, I'm sorry, this exact same piece, but it was a bigger bowl on eBay and I want to say it sold for about 60 bucks. So I would love to know this artist so that I can properly identify it. All right. So the next item I'm going to show you where are we in time? The next item like I I pick up lots of plates. For whatever reason I love 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 plates and I sell plates. In particular, I'm always picking up Anthropology, Natalie Latet. They sell for me. I've sold a ton of those. Um I usually get them less than 5 bucks. 
and I sell them for between $60 and $80. So if you guys ever see Anthropology um, plates, pick them up. Oh my God. I remember, I, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, Danny, the niche lady, she was at a flea market, I believe. And this particular vendor had, I want to say he had like maybe six of those plates. And I think she got them for like 20 bucks. And they go they go for good money. Like depending on the design, they go anywhere between 60 and $90 per plate. So I try my best to get on you pick up unusual plates and un just because you, you may not necessarily use it as um, for eating or for dining, but you can use it for decor. So this plate is no exception. Let me just stop talking. So look at that beautiful, beautiful plate, this beautiful uh, turtle, uh, turtle or not, I was about to say porpoise, not porpoise. Yeah, we'll just say turtle right now. It's been a long day, guys. Um, so anyway, I just love it. This is probably a good nine inches, nine and a half inches diameter. Here's the back. It looks like it's definitely made out of clay, but I love, love, love this subject matter. You can use it for display if you have a beach theme or um, an ocean theme decor. It has this mark on the back, which I have not been able to make out. I want to say uh, that's a little B and then the B-E. Do you guys see that? Like, I could not find anything. My fingernails are jacked up. I could not find anything re relating to this particular mark, like nothing, nothing. I was out of my yard working in the yard today too. Um, but anyway, I could not find anything. It says B-E and I think that's a little B, um, but nothing, I got nothing. So if you guys know anything about that particular mark, please do let me know. I couldn't, I tried to do a Google lens on this image itself. It did nothing came up um, that was close. And so I said, okay, well, anyway, I'm still going to go ahead and list it and, um, and we'll see what happens. But I love, love, love it. It's so pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, put that there. All right, so the next item, I just, I'm going to show you one. I have a set of four. So these are, let me just show you the tag on the back. William Sonoma, 1595. I have a set of four. I paid $8.49 for a set of four. These are Williams and Sonoma. Are they calling them anything in particular? It says made in Taiwan. Hmm, didn't know that. Interesting. Um... Your name? Oh, it's just talking about how to clean it. Sorry about that. So look at these amazing cork-backed table mats, and they are heavy. Each one of them are heavy. So um, again, I have a set of four of these. These things are in pristine condition. Pristine condition. I don't think they have ever been used. Um, I don't remember how long these are, but you can see how big they are right and all of them have um uh, have these peacocks and a set of four sold on ebay i want to say like back in may for about 60 bucks 60 dollars for a set of four aren't they gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now Everything that I'm showing you here from the thrift store, like I said, it came to about $77, I think. And I believe that with with just these, I can talk, with just these alone, um, these will sell for about $60. So I'm really super happy, super happy about that. All right, moving on. The next item, I was actually on my way out the store. I, I paid $5.99 for this. I was on my way out the store, and I'm like, oh, go back. That looks interesting. Um, and so I'm glad that I did. And um, it is this, I think it's chalkware, but it's this beer sign, five cents beer sign. Um, I do believe it's probably um, mid-century modern um, type of style, perfect barware, perfect. There's no maker's mark on it at all. I did a Google lens on it. I thought maybe uh, something would pop up. Uh, similar, well, something did pop up similar, but it still didn't identify the maker. Uh, most of the most of the, the items, like or most of the items that I saw that were like this, listed it as mid-century modern vintage uh, barware sign. And as you can see, it's definitely made out of chalkware. It's a little heavy. Here's the back. And um, I'm, like I said, I pay how much did I pay for this baby? Five ninety nine. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Perfect for your barware. Put that baby there. Now here's another barware piece, guys, but I cannot find a daggone thing about this thing. First of all, you know what it is, number one. Um, and it was kind of sort of sitting back where the electronics like with where all of the kind of sort of like, like I call it like uh, electronic land. Um, so I think probably a reseller probably picked it up and couldn't figure out what it was and couldn't figure out how it worked. <coughs> and they probably just stuck it back there. But <coughs> excuse me, it was only two ninety nine. So it is this thing spins. So I'm thinking maybe something hung on the side of these. Here's the base. There is a battery compartment. I put batteries in it. However, the light that's on this end, well, the batteries, it didn't work. And I think this is supposed to, this little mechanism is supposed to turn the light on and off. So either the light is, the light bulb is broken and it's a little teeny weeny little light. And I can't even figure out how to find out if I can even replace it. Um, and then this thing just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. So apparently it's definitely defective. But I figure for $2.99, it's a cute little bar piece. And uh, even if you just use it for decor, I think, well, not, I'm going to definitely list it. If I can't figure it out, I'll ask my husband, you know, to take a look at it. And if he can't figure it out, then I'll just probably sell it as, you know, bar decor, barware type decor. And, um, you know, sell it for about, I don't know, probably about $15, I guess. Excuse me, guys, my sinuses. All right, so that's that. The next item, I have sold this baby before. I keep, I have to stop grabbing it by its tail. I've sold this little baby before. I think I sold two of them, actually. That and a kangaroo. So it's a planter. It's like a hot dog planter. Which I don't understand. I know it looks like a planter, but then it has this hole, like right here. I don't know, I don't know what you stick there, but, um, but there's, like, you can't, it's not a bank. I don't know what it is. So I think it's just a planter. So anyway, it's in great condition. This was sitting on the side. Nobody picked this baby up. And I want to say it was like $3.99 or something like that. So I think these are selling anywhere between $25 and $28, I think. So we shall see. People love these little things. It, it's it's so cute. It, what are you doing? Okay. So anyway, I just picked him up, of course. So that was that. The next item I completely adore. I am um, thinking, excuse me one second. I gotta get the plug. Okay, so guys, I know you know D with three uh, with the thrill of the thrift. D is an amazing, amazing reseller. Please go check her out. D with thrill of the thrift. If you are a reseller in this reseller community, you have got to know her. You've got to click on her channel and watch her amazing video. She does hauls. I've learned so much from her. She does hauls often. And uh, she does a lot of live shows as well, which is great. I think every Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m., I believe. I can't remember. But anyway, check her out. So on, I want to say it's, um, give me a moment, guys, because I'm trying to think. I think I have a, I know I have a live sale with Dee sometime in July. It's a Christmas in July uh, sale that we're having. And I'm going to put more information on my channel. So please stay tuned for that. We're going to do 25 items apiece. And I think the date, the date is July the 6th or something like that. It's right after Memorial Day. I mean, um, uh, um, 4th of July. So it's somewhere in that week. Um, why am I babbling on about that? Just to let you know, I guess. Anyway, I love D. Sorry, my sinuses. Anyway, I found this particular piece. Actually, I think I had one of these in my in my arsenal already. I have lots of Christmas stuff, but this was so amazing, guys. This was only $4.99, and yep, it was only $4.99. Give me one moment. There's a little tag, and um, it's the Lord's Prayer, and it lights up. I don't have a plug or pl a place to plug it in, but it is in great condition. Look at that. It is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Look at that. The Lord's Prayer. So I was, I think I was saying all that to say that she, I may, uh, she may make an appearance on my sale with D is where I'm getting at. Um, and as a matter of fact, I know that I am because I have another one in my inventory and, um, yeah, so I'm going to definitely sell this one for sure in my, uh, item, my, one of my 25 items that I'm going to sell with D 
uh, for our Christmas in July sale. So if you like this one, this one is by Formalities. Let me just show you the bottom. It's a 2002 uh, Inesco group designed by Karen Hahn. Let me show you the bottom. And it has the light. It does work. It does light up. And she, her wings are good. And her hands are good. Her halo is good. She's in great, great condition. Again, only $4.99. So uh, absolutely was going to pick her up because she is adorable. She's beautiful, actually. All right, so that's that. All right, guys, so the next item I have, I just went a little crazy because they were all sitting. I think, again, resellers, I know resellers, and <laughs> whoever put these, they put them back with the electronics, right? And I know that they go, some resellers go back in the back of the store, and then they're, like, on their phones looking stuff up. And rather than taking it back where it belongs, they just stick it on a shelf. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But uh, but when you when you find a bunch of items uh, in an odd place, that's exactly what's happening. They're, the resellers aren't putting them back. So anyway, I found three of these back near the electronics. And uh, they are unopened. And they are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I paid $6.99 a piece for these. But these are selling online on eBay every day, all day for about $49. So of course I was going to pick them up. Um, look at that absolutely adorable this one is by i want to say oh but busilla it's by busilla and this one is a crib cover and it says babies are precious it's a stamp cross stitched uh kit and the finish the finish size is 34 inches by 43 unopened everything intact and it is amazing amazing Amazing. And I think I have two of these. Give me one moment. Nope, that's different. I think this is the other one. Yep. <clears throat> so I have... Are these different? No, these are it's the same. So I have two of these. The um, the Babies Are Precious... Uh, what are these things called? Crib cover. So I have two of these, which is great. Then I have a third one. Um, this one is called... Give me one moment. Ah, what is it called? Baby's Friends Quilt by Peggy Jo Ackley. All right. Again, I paid $6.99 for this unopened. All right. I love, love, love this, guys. I'm so sorry the light was distorting that a little bit. Isn't that awesome? This is so cute. Uh. Just so cute. All right. And this one, is this Priscilla? Give me one. No, this is Dimensions. This is by Dimensions. So it's either Dimensions or Priscilla that, you know, have these um, cross-stitch kits, right? And I just thought this was so amazing. And I absolutely was going to pick them up at $6.99 a piece. And like I said, these were listed and selling online um, between $49, uh, around $49. So we shall see. I don't know if I, if, um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to... Huh. I'm sorry. I got distracted. I shall see. I'll, I'll do a little bit more research on those and see how I can price those things accordingly. Unopen, new, and package. All right. So that's that. All right. So that's everything over here, I believe. All right. So switching gears, the next thing I found at the thrift store is... know what that is anyway it was $3.99 it is a vintage <laughs> Walt Disney SeaWorld sorry SeaWorld uh, I'm gonna just call it a tray I do well with these little trays particularly the vintage ones and this one is vintage I want to say it was 1970s 1970s like late 1970s early 80s but um yeah this one is absolutely pretty cool you gotta love SeaWorld I love it it's in great condition Barely, I mean, no scratches at all that I could tell. Isn't that pretty cool? I mean, it has um, Japanese village, the dolphins, the waterfowl, the killer whale, the seal, penguin, and sea otter. What is that? Aquamarine. Oh, aquarium. I can read. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool for $3.99. 
And then of course, anything that's uh, Mexican tonala, I usually pick that up. I usually pick it up if it's in great condition and this one is no exception. I think I'm gonna keep this for myself and put it out in my garden. Um, I have a few pieces out there now, so I think I'm gonna keep this for myself. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but that's the mark right there. I love, love, love Talavera, the whole Ken Edwards uh, Mexican tonala pottery. I love, love, love it. It's my, it's my jam. This one is no exception. It's very, very cool. I love it. So that's that. All right. The next item was $3.99. It's a little dirty. A little dirty and dusty. I'm going to take the little tag off. Um, it is a nightlight. And I believe the tag on the bottom, I thought it was a Nesco, but maybe not. But it definitely does have a label that says made in Taiwan. So it's vintage. Um, this baby does work. I plugged it in. It does work. It's like a little unicorn, um, excuse me, excuse me, a little unicorn nightlight. It's a little dirty and dusty. I got to clean it up a little bit, but it's in good condition. No chips, no cracks that I could tell. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Here's the light fixture on the bottom. And I just thought it was cute. You guys know that my daughter, she loves all types of unicorns and horses, you know. Nope, she's not going to get it. Sorry. I keep going back and forth, you know, because I just love her so much. And I know she loves animals, but no. All right, the next item, this thing was so weird. I don't even know why I picked it up. I picked it up because it was weird. And then um, what I realized when I did some research on this thing um you can get it on Amazon. Give me one moment. You can get it on Amazon for about six bucks. And I paid $3.99. So it's a mask, right? Look at that. It's a mask, right? It lights up. It comes with this contraption and it lights up. How do you put it on your head? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. So it lights up, right? And um, I should probably try to try it out. Anyway, it doesn't sell for much, but I figured what I would do since I got it, you know, I'll just, I'll just list it. And, um, you know, somebody's going to want this silly looking thing for the Halloween, I'm sure. So, you know, we'll just go ahead and list it. You win some and you lose some. It's weird. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and then it came with these, um, these gloves. These are open. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Like these skeleton gloves. Okay, fine. I didn't know that. All right. The next item I found was $5.99, I think, for a set of these four very, very, very fall-looking uh, pillow covers, right? I have a set of four. They're probably 24 by 24. These things are huge, and they're all different. I love the black checker. Uh, border on all of these. They're kind of made out of this very sturdy canvas. Um, but anyway, I love them. I don't think they've ever been used. This one says pumpkins, corn and cider. So that's that one. This one says pumpkin patch and smiles ahead. Aren't these so cute? Uh? These are so cute. I love them. And they're huge. And this one says, Autumn Lee's Pumpkin Please. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then the last one just simply says, Fall. So can you imagine, um, you know, decorate, you know, well, I can't keep, I cannot keep them. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, so can you imagine with your, your uh, fall decor, these will be perfect pillow covers. If you already have the pillow forms, you just need the, you, you can use these as covers and you're all set. Like I am totally, I saw, was it on Pinterest? I can't remember. I saw this lady, she redid her, her, uh, her porch. It wasn't a big porch, but it was so cool how she did. I love DIY projects. I love doing stuff myself. And she, um, she did everything in a, uh, like a black and white. And I want to say it was like yellow or some other bold color. But it was mostly this kind of sort of check, uh, ch uh, check, like pillows, and it was it was just really cool how she did. I totally I totally loved that. Um, 
So one day when I have time, that's going to be my other life. I love, love, love to decorate and upcycle and all that type of stuff. But when they start inventing clones and I can clone myself five days a week, then uh, we'll go with that. But right now, you know, we got to stick with one thing at a time. So that's my life. All right, guys, this last item is, uh, I'm going to use the word finally, adorable. It's adorable. Um, this one does have a little boo-boo on its ear. But it's this gorgeous 1970s, I'm going to call it 1970s, hippie owl. Um, it's a bank, as you can see. And this was at uh, the thrift store. And I want to say it was like $3.99 or something like that. It does have a Japan stamp right there. So I know it's vintage. I don't know who made it. Um, I couldn't find anything similar online. But uh, other, than, other than that, I totally love it. I'm very tempted to keep it myself, but no... Excuse me, I'm just going to go ahead and list this baby because it's so adorable. It's so cute. Uh, made out of like a like a ceramic, but a thin ceramic, but it's so adorable. He has a little boo-boo in his hat, as you can see right there. I'll make note of that when I list it. And I think I saw, yes, a boo-boo on the ear. But other than that, he is adorable. He or she is adorable, right? Probably stands about, I don't know, guys, probably about six and a half inches tall. <laughs> all right so that is my haul that is everything oh my goodness so yeah i think i did pretty good i love 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 uh this is one of my i always like to show my favorite things actually so the turquoise fiesta wear is my favorite find that's one favorite find the uh williams and sonoma mats for 849 for a set of four that was a good find and then finally believe it or not this little baby is my favorite. <laughs> I just love this. I love this little sort of thing. <laughs> so anyway, I think I did pretty good. I do know that, um, like I said, uh, everything that I got at the thrift store, I think will be pretty much covered if I can sell those Williamson Sonoma mats for 60 bucks, which I think I can. And uh, my plan is to... Um, try to get them listed tomorrow. So my husband, tomorrow's Father's Day. And so, um, you know, I appreciate the fact that he wants to hang out with me. I'm going to cook dinner for sure. But, you know, the kids were like, you know, well, let's go hang out or whatever. And, you know, he was kind of sort of him and all. I'm like, no, go out, go out. I love him. But, you know, just go out for a little bit, have some fun with the kids and spend some time and, you know, seriously, go We'll have some fun and then while you're out i can be cooking dinner and i can be maybe you know photographing some things while you're doing that i can multitask you know so that's just just how it is but anyway guys i'm babbling on and on and on my sinus medicine is kicking in and it's making me a little little loopy so but guys thank you so much for stopping by my channel i really appreciate it i i think everything i have is pretty daggone amazing i think so and if there's anything that you guys see please do let me know i will put my information down here in the description just send me an email and uh and i will send you uh, and i'll quote your price and then i can send you an invoice through paypal so and also if you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much if you love this type of content please be please, uh, please feel free to stop by anytime and come by and see me if you want to put me on mute you don't like my voice you don't like the tone of my voice i talk too much put me on mute and just look at the stuff just look at the stuff that's okay too but if you do like me and you do like this type of content and uh you just want to get to know me please do hit that subscribe button and uh, the bell notification so that when i do upload videos uh you will be notified i wish i was one of those resellers that could you know put out content every day but you know such is life i have a full-time full-time job and i try to do this part-time i love doing it part-time and i try i do do it part-time most of everything that i am selling is going into my retirement fund and i absolutely absolutely love it. i do it for fun number one but then also i'm doing it for my retirement fund so if you guys have any questions about anything about me i don't care i'm an open book um, just let me know. All right. It's always uh, good to uh, know that there are people out there who, who um, kind of sort of like what you're putting out there. So any type of feedback you uh, would like to share is completely, completely okay with me. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And again, stay tuned for the information. I'm going to put out a video probably in another week uh, announcing the date and the time of my Christmas in July sale with D 
from uh, Thrill of the Thrift. All right, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to stop talking now. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful Father's Day or or celebrating the one who either raised you or uh, the one that you call daddy or papa, whatever you want to call it. Um, go ahead and enjoy yourself this weekend um, with your family and your friends. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Smooches.